Hey guys, MD Prepper here. The last of my smaller fixed blade cold steel reviews. I had to throw this one in. Older blade, more of a niche market. This is the Western Hunter style blade, which is patterned off of your uh, standard Western style Skinner blades, if you can see that right there. Obviously, this is a Skinner style Western blade uh, with the slight sweep on the back side here. This is now discontinued. I picked this up from Lynn Thompson Special Projects when I was ordering some machetes and some other stuff from their uh, cheap closeout line. I found this one in the closeout section. I decided to pick it up. I've got some other older blades like this. It was about 10 11 bucks at the time. This thing at the time had retailed previously for about $35 a piece. Don't know if I would pay $35 for this blade overall, but uh, for 10 11 bucks, it was worth picking up. Now, I don't tend to hunt big game like uh, bear or deer or elk, anything like that particularly, but uh, if I did, this would be a great pickup for skinning this thing. Uh, it is quite the beast. Again, considerably bigger than your standard fixed blades that I already went over. Here's the Pendleton compared to it. Obviously, the Western Hunter is a bit bigger. Uh, this thing is 10 and 3 8 inch overall. This is also Krupp stainless steel. This is a bit heavier at 4.1 ounces, still quite reasonable. Now, unlike the hollow grinds of the standard, I would say, low cost cold steel blades, this one is a flat, uh, flat ground, or flat grind, if you can see it there. Does the job for skinning, it's very thin, holds the edge real well. It's good for your uh, long skinning type style strokes that you're gonna skin any kind of critter at all. Uh, that's primarily what this is going to be used for. Could you baton with this and other other style bushcraft? Yeah, you could. I don't think this is going to do nearly the job of the slightly smaller style blades. Um, the grip on this one, again, polypropylene, has that quasi wood texture to it, if you can see that there. No lanyard hole, which I think is a bit of a hit against it. I just like having a lanyard hole, whether I use it or not. The option is nice. Um, little hollowed out ditches on either side. Again, for skinning, the back side of your hands are going to, fingers and whatnot are going to lay into that fairly well. I think that works just fine for skinning and its general intended purpose. Using a magnet, just like the rest of these blades, this one's about a half tang, give or take. Like I've said before, not a major hit against it. It'll work just fine. Now, this thing is a bit beefier than your standard fixed blade from Cold Steel on the low end. This has a much longer blade. This is a 6 inch blade compared to your eh, about average 4 inch blades from the others. Um, it's a fine knife. Nothing wrong with it. Again, if I was more of a hunter skinner, I may appreciate this more. I just picked this up as more of a novelty. I was already going to pay shipping from Lynn Thompson Special Projects. So, saw this one, knew it was going out, so figured I'd pick it up. The sheath. Again, like the rest of them, standard Cordura, nothing special. Um, belt loop here can be used as a neck knife, though I don't know if I'd use something this size as a neck knife. Fits in there real well. Again, not as well as the fin bear, but much better than the roach belly. Uh, you're going to shake this. It's not going to come out particularly easily. With this size, this is more of a belt knife, in my opinion. Keep this on your belt. Pull it out as you need it. General purpose knife. It's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but uh, I'd probably pick the Pendleton Light Hunter or the Fin Bear or the Roach Belly for most of my general purposes. Now, if I was quite the hunter out west, as the western hunter implies, hence the label right there, I may carry this instead, but I'm not out west and I'm not much of a hunter. I'm more of a woodsman type guy. Good blade overall. Don't have any major problems with it. 10 11 bucks. It's not bad. MB Prepper out on the Western Hunter. Thanks, guys.